Hi learner, I am Mr. Gurudev Singh Rana, Assistant Director, Computer IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani, District Nainital. So learner, in this lecture, you will learn about Java Servlet and its implementation, how we create Servlet. Here, you will also learn about Servlet. What is Servlet? Architecture of Servlet and how servlet is different from CGI. CGI means Common Gateway Interface. And you, are, you also learn about servlet package and life cycle of servlet. In this session, you will also know about NetBeans ID and how to install NetBeans ID in Windows. There are also multiple IDs like IntelliJ, and Eclipse. But here you will know about NetWins only. In last lecture, you learn about JDBC drivers, why they required, and you also know about the type of JDBC drivers. From previous lecture, you understand about all four type of drivers. And you also learned about the advantage and disadvantage of all the four type of JDBC drivers and you also know where you need to use these type of JDBC drivers. So learner, in this slide, you will first learn about Java servlet. So what is servlet? Servlets are Java classes that implement the javax.servlet.servlet interface and handle HTTP request. Servlet that extend javax.servlet are generally created by web application developers. An abstract class called HTTP servlet implements the servlet interface and is specifically made to handle HTTP request. So Lander, you can say servlet is a technology and also component in Java. It is fit for both as a technology as, as well as component. As a technology, Servlet provides a model of communication between a web user request and a web server application or program. And in other case, as a component, a Servlet is a program that runs in web server and is responsible for dynamic content production like CGI. A servlet is a Java programming language class used to increase the capabilities of servers that host applications and that are accessed through a request response programming mechanism. So here we will discuss about main task of servlet. So main task of servlets are they are used to process the request received from the web server, produce the response and then transmit it uh, the response back to the website or to the web user. There are some basic properties of Java servlet and you will learn these properties one by one here. So first properties, first one is servlet works on server. This is very important as servlet, its name act as it work on server. So we name this as servlet. Here work on server side means the servlet page run inside the web server. You cannot inspect the server side code in the client browser like you can do all other client side programming code. Now, the next property is that servlet can handle sophisticated request received from the web server. Here, sophisticated uh, request means complex request. That means that the request contain complex data as a parameter or multiple parameters. Sometimes request can be complex if it is required 
validations over the data passed in parameters. So, Java servlet easily handle this type of request. Java servlet pays as a development architecture work as business logic, business logic layer. Now, in next slide here, you can see the architecture of Java servlet. So, in this slide, here you can see, here user send request through the web browser by requesting any resource in the server and it create a HTTP request object and it interact with the web server first where Java servlet is deployed. After that, web server receive the request of the client. Now, the web server routes the request to the appropriate servlet. After that, Java servlet pays intact with a database and get required data from the database and compile the data as per output. It is not mandatory to interact with database, but if it required any data from database, then Java servlet pays interact with the database. So, here you can say servlet map the data to the output classes. After getting data from the database, how servlet classes know or map this data. So, it is used as mapping classes. There are multiple mapping classes in servlet. So, after mapping, servlet generate a response and send response back to the web server. After that, web server send the response back to the client and web browser cater the response and display the output in the web browser. So, this is a very simple architecture of Java servlet. So, learner, in this slide, we will discuss about difference between CGI and servlet. Sometimes this is a discussion point that CGI also do same work as servlet. But there are some basic difference between these two. CGI passes a request from web user to an application program and receives data back to forward the web user, i.e. it is also responsible for dynamic content generation. Here is the question, what is the difference between CGI and servlet? So learner here, you understand about the difference between CGI and servlet. So, first difference is that CGI is process based and it treats every request as new process. But in the case of servlet, it is thread based and treat every request as new thread. So, next difference is that as you know, CGI is process based so, there is no problem of concurrency call, means there are multiple requests at the same time. But in case of servlet, concurrency problem can occur. Why concurrency problem occur? Because it is based on thread. So, now next difference is CGI is platform dependent, but servlet is platform independent. And uh, uh, I think you know about what is platform dependent and what is platform independent. So, you can use multiple languages to develop CGI, but for uh, impl servlet, serv servlet implementation, you can use only Java. Now, here you will learn about servlet packages. As you know, package in Java are the group of related classes and interfaces and packages are easy to maintain and they contain all the related functionalities. There are two packages of servlet in Java. One is javax.servlet and second one is javax.servlet.http. These two packages contain all the classes and interface for servlet API or you can say you need to use these two packages to implement the servlet in Java. These two packages are the standard part of Java Enterprise Edition. Now, you need to understand 
the difference between these two packages the java x dot servlet package contain a number of classes and interface that explain and define the contract between a servlet class and the runtime environment provided by a confirming servlet container for an instance of such a class and the next the java x servlet dot std package contains a number of classes and interfaces that explain and define the contracts between servlet classes executing under the http protocol this is the main difference executing under the http protocol and the runtime environment provided by a confirming servlet container for an instance of such a class so major difference is that it execute the servlet class under the http protocol but in the previous case there is no http protocol now in this slide you will learn about the servlet life cycle life cycle of servlet is maintained and managed by the servlet container in web server basically there are five life cycle setup step of servlet first one is load servlet classes in this step web server container load the servlet classes from the imported package during the first request made by the client this step is only executed once at the time of first request now next step in next step it is create servlet instance after loading the servlet class in web container it create instance of servlet class and here is also only one instance is created for a servlet and all concurrent request are executed on the same servlet instance now if the servlet fails to initialize then it informs the servlet container by throwing the servlet exception error or uh, una unavailable exception now the next step is to call init method in this step after creating the servlet instance web container call the servlet init method init method mein initialization method this method is used to initialize the servlet before processing the first request it is called only once by web container now next step is to call service method this is main call where uh, service server is ready to serve the request so after initialization process in this step web container call the service methods in this step servlet instance is ready to serve the client request and initially servlet container perform the operations when the servlet is ready to serve the incoming request first servlet container produce the object of servlet request and servlet response if the request is http the web container creates http servlet request and http servlet response objects which are sub type of the servlet request and servlet response object next step is to destroy the servlet instance in this step we call destroy method by the uh, web container before removing the object of servlet the destroy method instructs the servlet to release all resource associate associated with it the web container only calls it once when all servlet threads have quit or when a timeouts occur so learner i hope you understand about the life cycle of servlet in details now learner next thing is how to implement the java servlet so in the in this slide you will need to understand the id and identify what id you need to use to implement java servlet an integrated development environment means id 
is a piece of software that acts in the productive creation of software code by the various programmers to implement java sublet page you have lot of option of ids but there are some uh, major uh, ids like uh, eclipse netbeans and intellij are very good so here uh, you will understand about netbeans and how to download netbeans and how to install netbeans so here you can choose netbeans as ide to develop the java servlet to implement java servlet you need to install netbeans in your system first so here so here i am going to walk you through the process of building and running a java servlet with the netbeans ide you can create html5 javascript and css based html5 applications with html javascript and the netbeans ide and the netbeans ide are fast and efficiently the ide offers excellent feature for php and c and c++ developer as well so first you need to download the ide from official site of netbeans and here's the link netbeans.organization/downloads/6.1/index.html index.html is home page so you can see the home page here you can click on the link and this link navigate you to the index page and from this page you can see there are uh, download button you can click on the download button to download the netbeans id so after click on download button this will display the list of installers and packages for all type of environments like for mac machine and uh, for uh, windows so here you need to click on the installers and packages for window 64 bit after selecting the installer for windows this will redirect you to the next page and here is the link from you can download the netbeans ide so this is the link you can directly click on this to download the id also after downloading you need to install the id in your machine so here is a exe file so you can click on downloaded exe file this is the first screen where it check for smart skin of window defender it will check it is good for install installation or not it will check all the uh, dependencies and uh, we can say prerequisites so after this you can click on run button so here is the welcome screen and this installer will install the netbeans ide with the below packages and run time you can customize the packet packs to customize the packs or packages click on customize button by default it will install base id java se and java e html slash javascript and php so this is the default packages so click on next button to continue now in next screen is license and agreement page so you need to read the uh, following license agreement carefully and then click on check box to accept the terms in the license agreement page once you check the box next button get enabled initially it was disabled so now you can click on next button now from this screen you can choose the path for installation folder and jdk here are two path one for netbeans ide installation folder and second one is for jdk here jdk means java development kit which is helpful in general in creation of java pages or java sublet pages after setting path click on next button now from this screen click on install button to start installation so here you can see check box when you check this box then the netbeans installer automatically check for updates of installer plugin using your internet connection 
now hair installation is started and in progress so this will install all the default components after complete installation click on next now setup is complete click on finish button after installation it creates the shortcut icon of netwins click on icon to launch the netwins ide this is the home page screen of netwins ide so learner i hope now you are able to install the netwins ide in your machine you can also install other id like intellij and eclipse so learner in this lecture i am sure you understand about java servlet servlet architecture java servlet packages and life cycle of java servlet in this lecture you also able to understand how to install integrated development environment or ide and here you learn to install netwins so learner in next lecture uh, you will continue to learn java servlet and how to implement java servlet using netwins in next section you will learn how to create java servlet and how to set up tomcat server in window machine thank you